moment it felt like there was a hello welcome back to my channel this is Carla Chu and today I'll be sharing with you my experiences in Manila during the quarantine Around mid-March, it was announced that Manila will be subjected to an enhanced community quarantine, which made me feel very anxious because I don't know what it feels like. However, I did not panic buy because I already stocked up some grocery items because I just had a hunch that the city will be subjected to a lockdown or a quarantine. Do you know my daily routine? Every morning, I'll do my stretches. Here is a video of me doing the stretches. It was supposed to be included in my types of people in quarantine video, but I did not include it because I looked unflattering. I cooked my own food, and I had become better at it than before. Here are some of my recipes. Corned beef omelette, spicy corn tuna fried rice, ground pork omelette, and I even made my first real fruit juice, which is orange. Sometimes when cravings hit me, I would order myself a melty through bread. Here are some Instagram stories of me with the milk teas that I ordered. If I am bored, I watch TV series. And I even finished reading Wuthering Heights. It is one of the best books I've ever read. And on the evening, I watch A Love So Beautiful at the Asian Novella channel. I love the Chinese drama so much that I even shriek almost every time I watch it. Social media helped me to connect with my friends. And I like it because I get updated to what is happening to them. And I felt like some of my friendships have gotten stronger. Shout out to Chela's Cebu chapter. I went to the supermarket to buy my groceries. And do you know how crazy it is to leave your phone at home while I'm queuing to enter the supermarket? Well, it was really intense, but I managed it. Sometimes I went to 7-Eleven or Ministop to buy my groceries because it is much more convenient and fast. It was this time that I decided to film my first video. And this boredom really pushed me to create this channel. When it was announced that we would transition to modified enhanced community quarantine, I was honestly confused. How will it differ to enhanced community quarantine? I also experienced reporting to work this time and it was really hard because there was no public transportation and I had to walk to and from the office. I went to the mall to settle my bills and I was honestly shocked that the malls were deserted and it felt like there was a show like what you see on the uh, movies. I came across this animation film titled Ocean Waves and it felt very nostalgic and I can really relate to the main character Taku because he moved from Kochi to Tokyo and I have never been to my hometown for several months already and I wonder how Cebu looks like. The lessons that I've learned during the quarantine is that we may think we can survive but we can survive because we are capable to adjust and try. Don't forget to follow the precautions and stay healthy. This will serve us as a reminder that we should think of the consequences of our small actions. Thank you for watching this video and if you like this video, you can hit the subscribe and thumbs up button. See you in the next video. Bye bye!